Hey everybody, Mark here with my Apple Tech One Toy Feels, and today I'm going to show you how to add a cool screen glare effect to your iDevice pictures. Let's get started. So what you want to do first is just download an iPhone 5, 5S, whatever, PSD you want. I just searched Google for iPhone 5S PSD, and I found this really cool one. And then once you got that, if you want a screen on there, you can get a screenshot. But what I'm going to show you here today is how to add a screen glare effect. So, what you want to do first is go down to your bottom bar right down here, and right next to the trash can it says create a new layer. You want to do that. This is layer one. I'm just going to rename this for the sake of the video and just name it glare. So with that, you want to have this selected right here, and then we want to go over to here, and then we want our polygono lasso tool and then whichever way you want your glare to go you just click once at the top and you can move your arrow down I'm just gonna have this green glare go right about there so click and we're gonna move this off to the side and just go outside of the device and so now it's connected right there so with that connected we're gonna want to make sure it's white on top of black like that, your configuration, and then go to your paint bucket right here, and then just fill that in as white. So now we can head on over here to our opacity, and then just turn this down a whole bunch, because you don't really want a white blob on your screen. So I'm just going to turn this down to maybe around 20, 22% right there, that looks about good. So now that we have that, we can just do Command D and deselect that. So it looks okay, we have a screen glare, but we have this big huge triangle thing going off the side of this and it doesn't look that great. So what you're gonna wanna do is go into your device and right, the PSD I downloaded, it says your screen here. So I'm gonna to wanna to right click on this and click select pixels. So this is selected right there. And then we wanna to go to select up in our menu bar and click inverse. So it's gonna select this and this. So you wanna go up to your glare, select that, make sure it's blue and just click your delete key. And then that glare part on the corner will be gone and you will only have that glare on your screen. We can do Command D to deselect that. So now, if you want it to be more like a professional one, instead of just having a screen glare all the way down, where some of them up top are darker and they fade down to almost nothing at the bottom, you want to make sure your screen glare, glare is selected. And the third one over right here, it's add layer mask. We're going to want to select that. And then We'll want to head on over to our paint bucket and then click the gradient tool. And it should be white on black. And then we're just going to want to start at the top and drag down however far you want. I'm just going to drag past the device a little bit. So as you can see, it's right here and then it fades down. So I can do this maybe a little bit more to make this glare a little less bright. So as you can see, it starts bright and then fades down to almost nothing. And to show you how it fades down right here, I'm just going to turn off my screen. And as you can see how it starts up here and then fades down to almost nothing. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions on how this, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. If you like this video, be sure to click that like button, subscribe for our videos, and I will see you right back here in the next one. Thanks for watching.